everybody welcome back to the world of rpgs today we're going to be taking a look at war tales i wanted to make this video because as of today there's about two weeks until this game comes out officially you can see it right there on the screen 1.0 release announcement april 12th it has been in early access for quite some time now and i wanted to show you guys what this game was all about now it's listed on steam as an open world rpg in which you lead a group of mercenaries in their search for wealth across a massive medieval universe and even though that sounds awesome already i don't think that that description does it justice this game truly is a warband simulator you'll have to manage the food the wages the general happiness and the career of every member of your warband you'll earn money by either slaughtering everyone that you see and then selling their belongings for gold by hunting down bandits or by doing mercenary work or helping people out that you find on your journey so if that sounds like something you want to check out there's a link down below to the steam page and there's some other cool stuff down there too like a link to my twitch which i stream at nearly every day and a link to some alternate ways to support me and the growth of this channel Otherwise, you guys sit back and relax. It's going to be about 40 minutes. Show you guys how this game plays. Let's get into it. All right, let's click new game. Your companions are apprentice friends. Oh, choose your destiny. Okay, your companions are apprentice friends looking for an adventure. Uh, influence plus 30, companions experience minus 30. Starting companions, swordsman, archer, ranger, and a brute. Men escorting merchants who lost their employer start with an extra 150 bucks minus one medicine you get a swordsman a warrior a spearman and a brute oh no ranged attackers deserters fleeing an abusive captain that's uh, that definitely that's not me for sure i i would never have companions that would flee me no way swordsman archer ranger and brute companions experience plus 50 suspicion plus 50 uh-huh young farmers looking for a better life bread plus 10 crowns minus 50 so they're poor but they've got the food we got a brute two spearmen and an archer bandits looking to escape the guard extra 100 100 bucks mega suspicion a brute two rangers and an archer I, i'm kind of thinking about going with some bandits to be honest one brute two rangers and an archer let's let's go for this team yeah bandits looking to escape the guard next your companions are used to long walks. Reduces the speed at which the troops fatigue stacks by 10%. They are cunning fighters. Experience gain in combat increased by 10%. Show incredible resilience. Constitution increased by 10%. Are excellent at slap games. Critical damage increased by 10%. Suspicion reduced by 15% during a theft. Um, let's say reduces the speed at which the troops fatigue stacks by 10 percent let's say constitution is increased by 10 percent if they had a flaw it would be a somewhat meek appearance each companion's carrying capacity is decreased absolutely not reduce the troops happiness by one during each rest eternal dissatisfaction no an uncommon bout of bad luck critical hit reduced by three percent Okay, a very hard time getting up. Danger during rest increased by 10%. Um, an attitude that does not inspire trust. The suspicion meter depletes 5% slower. Um, let's say critical hit reduced by 3%. Yeah. Choose your destiny. Starting region. Tiltron country. An independent state. Okay. Difficulty? Normal. Let's, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna put this on easy just so we don't die yeah difficulty simulation let's go for easy save mode yeah let's go for normal free iron men exploration free start yeah save name has let's go dude let's get oh look at us we've got milanol the ranger we've got main actos the archer we've got laoris the ranger and we've got eldactos eldactos huh let's let's re-roll no let's re-roll neroll there we go you can actually customize each one of these guys by the way like check this out i mean we're talking mega like this is really cool this is very very cool right here 
Okay, this guy's a ranger. Let's get let's give him a little bit of ramshackleness. Right? And we want him we want him to look a little bit. We want him to have you know a little bit of dishevelness too. Clothing colour. Let's get him a little a little green, yeah. Um a bit thuggish. Yeah, that one that one looks pretty good. So he can stab for six to seven, increase the critical hit chance by an extra thirty. And he has the first aid ability, okay. Starting weapon, so utility? Skills. Oh, you can actually Okay, so first aid. Run, disengage, and moves in a straight line up to five meters. Or Wrath deals four to six damage to a target if they have less than fifty percent health left. Fatal blow, this unit gains fury. If that so if that move kills someone, they gain fury. Damage of the next attack is increased by 50%. Okay. Heals a dying ally for 10% of their maximum health. Removes all stacks of poison. I think that's going to be critical. Traits. Bloodthirsty. Crit increases by 3. That pretty much negates our weak thing. Brawny. Constitution by 5. Strength by 5. Nimble. Dexterity by 5. Hardworking. Um, clever, quick, movement increased by 1, wage is reduced by 10, carrying capacity increased by 3, movement seems like it could be a good one, I'm going to go quick, and I'm going to go stocky, carrying capacity by 3, oh we got another one, glutton, oh, oh you have to add a negative trait, uh, movement by one. Must consume alcohol with every meal to be happy. Uh, sh cost plus three in wages. Oh, God. Um, must consume alcohol with every meal. Shit. Constitution is... Gains 5% less EXP. I don't know how much that is. How about constitution reduced and then we say one of these is like more constitution, right? Oh, oh, okay. So there is no, my bad. Constitution reduced by 5%. Um, oh, this is tricky. Um... 5%, let's say he's stupid. Gains 5% less EXP. Yeah. Oh, all constitution. Must consume alcohol with every meal to be happy. Let's just say, let's just reduce constitution. Yeah. So there we go. Menactos, let's, uh, Lambicram. Birthral. Arnis. Ray of Freed. Erlen, there we go, that's a nice one. I like that. There we go, that's Erlen. Right behind the smoke so we can't see her. Yeah. There we go, nice hair color. Nice hairstyle. Clothing, can't even see it. What do we got here? Shoot four to seven and run. Utility, first aid, what's that? Aim, gains deftness. What's deftness? Range of the next attack is doubled and precision is enhanced. Ooh. It's instant. Ooh. Run, first aid, or aim. Hmm. I think we give everybody first aid, to be honest. And we're going to say... We're going to say movement increased by one. We're going to say carrying capacity, and we're going to say constitution decreased. I like this one. Okay, Laoris, our other ranger. Tibral. I kind of like the look of this guy, actually, so we'll we'll go with that. And he's already set up, so we'll go for, again. I think we'll pick the same ones. I want to go for stocky. Um... Want to go for quick and uh, scrawny? Yeah, what is it? 
Where is he? Ooh. Critical unlucky. Oh, there's no scrawny this time. Oh. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, and El Dactos, the brute. Let's see if we can pick the gnarliest looking old codger we can find here. Oh, that guy looks like a pretty, pretty gnarly brute. There we go. This guy right here. Let's give him some, uh... Oh, yeah? Hell yeah, there we go. Now we're starting to discuss it. Pound deals 3 to 4 damage to the target. Damage is increased by 50% if the target still has armor. Or we can change a starting weapon. To a, Wait, what is that? Starting weapon becomes a two-handed hammer. Deals 4 damage to all units in the area. Damage is increased by 50% against units that still have armor. Taunt forces the target to engage and inflicts weakening to them for one round. Damage is reduced by 50%. Okay, so this splits their attack in half. What's this? Wrath deals 3 to 5 to the target if they have less than 50% health. And then it gains fury upon death. First aid. Man, I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about first aid across the board, but maybe this is the guy that we should have. Maybe a weakening. Bloodthirsty constitution strong let's make this guy powerful 20 percent clever quick let's make him quick but let's ooh, what's loafer carrying capacity reduced but, oops no i don't want that um stupid actually yeah gain five percent less exp that's okay close there's our team we've created our team begin adventure Oh, po pony! You can create. Wow! Oh my God! You can create. There we go. We've got a black pony. Deals three to four damage to the target. Random trait. Oh my God! Let's stocky. Let's say quick. The donkey must consume alcohol with every meal in order to be happy. That's exactly correct. Um, let's say, yeah, let's say he's scrawny. Now we are tr well and truly completed. We are ready to roll. This is our team of ragtag adventurers. It was all very straightforward. Petty theft, highway robberies, a purse of coins handed to a childhood friend now serving in the guard, and your companions always got off scot-free. The simple, honest life of a merry gang of bandits, except for the one that, uh, except for that last one that one last score, the one that targets the wrong person, the victim who's out for revenge. After running away in a very disorderly fashion, your troop has reached a new region. Surely here they will find many new opportunities to get rich quickly. After all, one person's loss is another's gain. Wow. Here we are. Well, look. A sparkly. Let's get into this right here. What is that? We've got four flowers. Let's, let's grab some... Uh, let's grab some ore right here. Actually, it looks like we're going to have to get involved. A hoodlum and a poacher. Fight. Oh, look at this. Here's my team up here. We've got five. The pun When your turn comes and play any unit you haven't used yet in the round, you can find out which enemy will then come into play. Prepare your strategy. Check this out. So, so this is basically the turn order down here. It's actually very, very cool. I like how... I like this turn order. I like that I can select any of my units. And I can play two of my units. Then one of theirs gets a turn. Another two of my units. Then one of theirs gets a turn. I really like that. As opposed to a very specific laid out turn order. You know, that's a that's a very cool thing. Really straightforward. Hoodlum, you can get to check out what they're doing. You can see their movement ranges. Right? Um, oh, they can actually move pretty far. Yeah, they can actually move pretty damn far. How far can this guy move? He can attack that guy. These guys have 9 armor and... He's got 9 armor and 12 HP. This guy has 
not okay so they've both got nine and twelve a poacher and a hoodlum um who have we got here nero's got five armor these guys have all got five armor he's got five armor as well so this is my big bopper um what are we going to do with this guy let's move him let's move him right here is this guy got oh he's got he's an archer you know what? I'm going to move this guy at the back then. Yeah. Let's move this guy at the back. Let's call him a... Let's call him Ram. Let's go right here. Break this guy's armor. Huge damage. When you perform a melee attack on a free enemy, you engage him. An engaged unit can only attack their engaged opponent and has a higher chance of taking crit damage. Take advantage of this with your other units. An engaged unit is exposing their back. Attack them from behind to get a bonus. Okay, so they're, they're, they're busy doing their thing. So, my second guy... Can he not have a turn? Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, I forgot to end his turn. Okay, so we got... <sighs> Let's go... Ooh, what should we do here? I could... I could... You know what? Hmm... I could really move... I could move about here. And I could just shoot this guy. Yeah. Wow, seven. Absolutely shredded and poisoned. Okay, it's time for us to move. Oh my god, we're actually out of range. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, he is poisoned. That was actually a really poor move from me. Now I can't I can't get anywhere near these guys. No. Oh my god. Can I first aid him? I can't even reach him. Oh no. Oh, that was that was executed to perfection by the enemy. Not gonna lie. <laughs> a new round. Okay, so we're going to take big man Eldactos. We're going to weaken... Ooh, no. We're going to do this. Um, He's going to take poison damage though, isn't he? What about if I walk to... What about if I walk here? We poison... Can we get rid of that? Is that how that works? One star. There we go. Sorted that up. Got rid of that poison. Um, can he still run? What do we got? Yeah, we're going to run this guy back here. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Disengage. Absolutely not. We're going to crush these guys. Wow. He left with 1 HP. 2 HP. Okay. Uh, let's taunt. Let's maybe taunt. Yeah, let's taunt this guy. Okay, saved one HP there. Um, let's go... Old mate here, we'll go here. That's right, he's surrounded. Let's do this. Stab that guy. We'll get Erlen to... 
End of Nero's turn. Let's move Erlen up here. Let's fire this arrow. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit right. Fire the arrow straight into my own companion's backside. Oh my god. New round is starting. Who do I want to finish this off? You've taken most of the heat champ, so you... You get to finish these guys off. <sighs> Crunched into the pavement. I didn't really have pavement, but you know. Okay, loot. We got some human remains. Oh, we'll take those for sure. Um, some cloth. Allows you to do some craft clothing. Uh, some to craft some clothing. Clothing, yeah. A currency commonly used around the world. Gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Repair all. Using your raw materials. El Dactos. Look at that. What's he got here? Brute level 2 without a profession. Okay. What do I do here? Let's inspect our man. El Dactos. Let's level him up. So I can turn him into a Vanguard, a Smasher, or a Destroyer. Ooh, what's Vanguard? Relentless Charge. Disengages and charges in a straight line. Deals 6 damage to all units in the path and applies slowdown. A Smasher deals 6 damage to all the units in the area. Applies 2 poisons to bleeding units. A Destroyer. A Weakening Blow. Deals 6 to 8 to the target and applies weakens. Oh man, that's, that's actually awesome. Let's go Destroyer. Yep. And let's increase his strength. His constitution determines how much health and carrying capacity or movement. Yeah, let's let's increase his strength. He has mega constitution right now. But his strength is a little low for a for a two-handed, so let's upgrade his strength. I think that's good. Um So let's have a wee look about what's going on here, yeah? So if we look at camp. So we've got a little campsite where we can build a workshop. We can assign um we can assign someone to be a tinkerer. Man, even the campsite is really, really cool. So you can basically um you can assign people to do things right here. Assign tinkerer produces two um what are these things? These are raw materials. So yeah, we can assign someone to 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 become a tinkerer, no? Just like that? Production camp. Move. Use. Um, let's say... Yeah. Let's make him a tinkerer. Oh, wait, you can... Oh, so you assign stuff here and this is where you build things out can have him build lockpicks oh i see oh wow you could be building and crafting stuff if you want to wow a tinkerer can learn recipes and craft and enhance camping gear at the camp workshop critical hit two percent that that is cool actually yeah that is very very cool okay um you can also go here we can eat um we don't need to do that right now i just wanted to show you guys the campsite that actually grows a lot you can eventually get to um it's a little bit more complicated than that. Have to eat every day, assign like food, you know, make sure everybody's fed and hungry, uh, not hungry, and all of that kind of stuff. So it's it's pretty cool. Here's all my food and my inventory over here. Human remains. You can eat, I think you can eat those. Comfrey bread. We've got some apples, some medicine, some cloth, and some iron ore. Let's go over here. See what's going on over here. We've got an inventory. Can close that down. The world map. Got a tiny little 
Look at that. Right, we've got some stables here. We've got a compendium. We can check about all the little skills and things like that that you have. Workshop here. Can build some lockpicks. A fish hook. Can build a torch. Oh, I actually have the stuff to build. When I do actually get to camp, I will assign them to build like some lockpicks or something like that. Maybe we can open up some random some random treasure chests. Let's have a look at these stables. What's going on here? Uh, that's right. You can rotate that. I can talk to the pony. Hello, young man. This patient animal is chewing on cabbage leaves. It's specked. It's a nice pony you got there, champ. Three ponies. Can look up here. Inspect. Ooh, it's got a little X on it. Guess that means thievery. So we don't we I mean we don't want to thieve. Ascende, let's talk to Ascende. Although the war in Edirin has been a boon for my business, I cannot help but feel for my poor ponies. I can tell you aren't soldiers. Take them with you if you can. Otherwise, they'd be most likely end up dead on the battlefield through no fault of their own. Oh. She wants me to just take him? Really? Uh, Let's talk to Geralt. Hang on a minute. Hey, when I think of how many people don't shoot their ponies, it makes me want to pull out the little hair I have left. Tell you what, buy a horse from us and I'll throw in the horseshoes for free. Buy them? How much for your horses, dude? Wait, one eight? No, sorry. I'm not paying 180 bucks for your horse, my, my dude. I'm sorry, man. I just, I just can't. 180 bucks, man. That is no joke, dude. Are you sure? Oh, God. There's nothing else? Okay, man. I could have sold him the human remains. No. Okay, that's all there is to do here. At the stables. Let's keep walking. Inspect. What is this? Some cloth? Well, we'll take that. Oh, we've got another. That is a massive camera. Progress made in your discoveries has earned you a knowledge point. Um, what is discoveries? This one? Compendium? We've got a knowledge point. We can learn to make saddle bear. See, this is what's so cool about this. You can run for short, short periods of time. Perfect to get away from pursuers. Hold shift to run. See, so as you search the, the world map, you gain knowledge points and you can spend those on like skills. Like career plans allows you to have enhanced control of your companion's evolution when they have leveled up. You can spend influence to add a one plus to an aptitude, which is damn cool. Frugality, each companion gets to, cu uh, gets to cut in their wages for the greater good. Wages paid to companions reduced by 10%. Rationing. They eat less food. Restoration. Repair materials and village blacksmiths restore five additional armor points. Weighted training. The troopers train with weights and can now carry heavier loads over long distances. Carrying capacity by 10. Smooth talker. Feet makers. Location markers. Objective markers to the map. Artful dodges. Suspicion meter depletes 10% faster. Cannibalism. Wow. Okay, well, let's, let's not, you know, get too carried away here. We're not barbarians yet. Uh, what can we do here? Workshop? A makeshift workshop to your companions can use to cry, uh, create useful items. Assign tinkerer. Yeah, see? Now we can, like, do all kinds of stuff. Campfire. So we can make needles. Um, against targets wearing light armor increased by 10% critical hit. Spare buckles. Cancels the movement penalty from armor. Or saddlebags. 10% carrying capacity. 
pretty damn cool. I want to learn to run, I think. Or, or, um, let's go for, let's go for, yeah, let's learn to run. Okay, let's learn to run. What do we got in here? Strom cap. Let's hit up this town. So we got some locations. We got Master Hewlin's Forge. Let's pop in here. Well, there's nobody home. Forge. So basically, you can you can yeah see new profession blacksmith. So you can have one of your guys become a blacksmith. So the ranger can can be a a blacksmith. Right, if you so, if you so choose. Neural's a blacksmith. Can have him like create stuff when we get the appropriate materials, right? So only got three iron ore. Can't really do anything just yet. But, you know, we can start actually making, forging armor and so on. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith if you happen to know one. Tiltron Restoration. Following Tiltron methods, your troop optimizes armor maintenance. Repair materials and village blacksmiths restore five additional armor points. I can buy that for a hundred dollars, so it's basically a skill up for a hundred. It's pretty cool. So you can start crafting armor at the forge. Go to the town hall. There's a market, apothecary, and there's an inn. Let's hit up the apothecary. So it's the same thing again. We've got an apothecary. We can make... Boom. An alchemist. So we can start having um, somebody make some flasks, some medicines, some little bombs and things like that. Not yet because we don't have the ingredients. But my concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Be sure to hold on to the vials after using them. Oh, damn. Well, 39 gold for a potion oh my god things aren't cheap you know hey life's tough as a bandit man life is tough man life is tough we're just getting by you know what i'm saying so apothecary let's go have a look at the inn what's in the inn let's have a look let's talk to the innkeeper say it's not often you see new faces around here well apart from the adorian war refugees that is Feel free to come back off. There's always folks looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. Sing. Okay, so you can you can loot up 44 gold for us to rest here. An apple pancake. Holy crap. 30 gold. Alcohol. Right, we've got some more discussing to do here. Yeah, you looking for work? I can give you tips and point you towards the best missions. The kind that pays better than the measly rewards the mercenary guilds had to offer the wife of a man condemned to the gallows is desperately seeking help okay we only have 28 renowned so this is our renowned or influence right here we've got 28 we use renowned to purchase the quests off this guy we can't we don't have enough yet steal them off of no of course, you'll then have to meet the client and meddle in other people's affairs. But at the end of the day, it's a number of crowns in your purse that counts, right? Damn straight it is, boss. Ludwit. Let's talk to Ludwit. I was part of another group of mercenaries, but one morning they left without me. Recruit. Okay, so this is a recruit guy. We don't need Ludwit. Emissary Amanende. Let's talk to him. Might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to assure all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. Review. Ooh. Edian's squad must be stopped. The guard seems unable to deal with these issues single-handedly. Except. So this is 130. Old lighthouse no longer safe since the bandits have taken up residence there. It's high time we kick them out. Let's accept that one. Okay, it's just to the south. And let's accept that one. Okay, we've got two, we've, we've accepted two easy jobs. A couple contracts. Look at that. We've got five five contracts here. Who's this guy? Jock and Will. I'd rather become a mercenary than big on the market square. Okay, so this is another hireling, basically. Who's Marie? 
Adventure calls. Okay, so we've got three hirelings, basically, and, and two quest givers. Not bad. Let's get out of here. So that was the inn. We've got the town hall. Let's go to the market. Let's have a little look-see here. Yeah, so we've got a little guy down here. Can you spare some food? Um, requires bread? Yeah, let's give him a bread. Thank you so much. I will pray for you. Accept. So we just gained, we gained 30 or 10 influence by doing that. Talk. Take a look at my wares. This guy's got some leather. He's got wood, salt, amber pottery, and woolen cloth. Okay. Renart over here. For a few crowns, I can polish your armor, please. I'm so hungry. Requires 10 gold. Dude, I'm sorry, but our arm is maxed out. We just don't need that right now. Touch it, you buy it. Okay, we don't need... Wait, what does she have? She got apples. That's some food. We're good on food right now. So we should be okay. Although, famous last words. Town Hall. The Lady Maris Gontrandi. Are you mercenaries? I'll have you know that we do not take kindly to refugees in these past. Why? Uh, because they have overrun our streets and are now talk taking to the roads. Iterin is sending our way anything with legs and a mouth that cannot wield a sword. You have your work cut out for you. There's no lack of honest folk in need of help to fend off the refugee menace. Wow. Refugee menace? What the hell's wrong with you, man? Ooh. Um, okay, so let's go... Where were those quests then? So we have... Vanquish Edian Squad, and we also have an old lighthouse down here. Let's go south to the old lighthouse. Huh? Let's go south to the old lighthouse. So we want to go this way. Um, how do we get out of town? Let's depart. Let's go south. Wait, who are these guys? Let's let's interact. Who are you? Hello. Are you bandits? We have nothing. We are only refugees fleeing the Eduranian war. Please let us go, I beg of you. Okay, so here's here's the tricky thing. So these are refugees. That that lady at sea, so you have a you have an option right now, man. You, we can do the mayor a favor and slaughter the refugees. Or we can give them some stuff for basically for influence. Or, or nothing whatsoever. We just let him go. Let's just let him go for now. We don't want to start slaughtering innocents. Right? That those That's a job for the wicked. The wicked and evil. That's not us. Dude. That is not us. Oh my god. I think we went the wrong way. But you know what? It's fine. Because we can cut through. We can cut through the forest. And what's that right there? Comfrey? Yeah, let's pick that up. Where is this lighthouse? Oh, we definitely go the wrong way. My bad. We need to go this way. Where is our lighthouse? Let's grab this. Old Wilbert's fishery. We got some... Some logging. Hey, Wilbert. What's up, my, my dude? Oh, we can't steal from old Wilbert. Let's talk to him. Are you here to catch some fish? Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That's it? Fishing rod. Let's get a... Uh... Uh... Use a hook to cast your line. What? We don't have a hook. We literally don't have a hook. Okay. So as per... What he actually said, we do not... We are not prepared for fishing. But... You better believe we'll come back fully prepared. Oh, I see another sparkly over there. I want to grab that. Oh, what is that right there? There's a some kind of mine on that. I'm going to get in trouble here, aren't I? So we're headed straight towards the lighthouse. Is over this way. You made knowledge? Wait, let's have a look here. The compendium. So we've gained... Oh, could make a throwing sickle. A throwing axe and a throwing sickle. Or. Saddlebear fishhook. 
We can make fresh hooks as we tinker. Or we've got run. Movement speed in the world is increased by 5%. Um, wages. i got a funny feeling we're going to learn rationing. Let's... The troop will eat three food less. Let's, let's, yeah, let's learn rationing. Let's make our, let's cut our costs. Got three more wood there. We're doing this little campsite there. Ooh. Venison. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Well, where is this? Uh, is that the lighthouse? Oh my god, we've got to go through the bush. Uh oh. Straight through the forest. Easy, look at that. Let's grab that on the way, yeah? Old lighthouse, here we go. Level 2. Hoodlums and poachers. Uh-oh. We may suffer. We may suffer daily. Um. Okay, let's... Let's move... You can place a companion here. Yeah, let's put this guy here. Right, let's put... Where is our... Okay, he's there. I think this is good. I actually think this is a pretty good setup. Um, yeah, let's move you right here. Yeah, and let's do this big bopper right here. Oh, actually. I could move him here. Now let's do that. Huge damage. Massive damage. Let's end that. Let's have our dude here. 16 and 16. So let's walk him to here. Six damage right there. Beautiful. My dude's poisoned. Uh, let's move him here. Let's have him stab away at this guy. Beautiful. Uh, let's end that. Let's have him move up here. Beautiful. Oh, um, um, he took one HP. So if I grabbed him and I moved him back here, stab him, big damage. Let's move him away. Yeah, let's have him move back here. And fire an arrow. We nailed it. Easy. Beautiful. Human remains. We got ourselves a lockpick. It's 11 crowns. Ooh, we got ourselves a damaged dagger with poisoning skill. Level 2 and a preserving jar. Repair all, one of one. Raw materials times one. Use it. Tibral leveled up. Let's take a look. You've just completed the mission, Free Old Lighthouse. Report to an emissary to claim your reward. Look at this right here. Now we need to have a look to see. Use a lockpick. Oh, we do not have a thief. Oh no. Must be a thief. Oh, we do not have a thief. 
We could make him a thief. Rotate the pick and press butter bing to insert it into the lock. Oh god. <gasps> we failed. We failed. We nearly met. We could have had it. Oh, we needed some more lockpicks. We needed some more lockpicks. I broke our lockpicks. And there's two of them here too. There's two crates here. <gasps> oh my god, dude. There's loot and we have to leave it behind. This is disgraceful. Oh my god, this bit, that's a pain. A lot of pain and suffering right now. So we're going to leave this about here. There is so much more to show. I really need a couple more hours to showcase everything that this game has to offer for you guys. But I hope that's enough to whet your appetite. Again, the link is down below. Huge thanks to all of my Patreons. You guys are absolute legends. See you guys in the next one.